The book, The Prince of Jockeys, is considered the first definitive biography on Isaac Murphy, an African-American jockey who was the first to win the Kentucky Derby three times in the late 1800s. I'll talk with the book's author and former professional athlete on the gridiron, Pelham McDaniels III, coming up on Connections. Great to have you, Professor Dr. McDaniels, <laughs> Pelham, as we yes. call you. Uh, we're glad to have you. You came right before the Derby, and we hope you got to enjoy the festivities. But this book about Isaac Murphy is has been heralded by many who are not just sports observers and other critics as being a masterpiece of sorts, a scholastic work about Isaac Murphy. For those who don't know, who is Isaac Murphy and why was he important for you to research? Isaac Murphy uh, is one of the most successful jockeys in American horse racing history. Um, he is important to understand and recognize because he came to success um, during a time in American history where African Americans were experiencing freedom uh, f really for the first time. Uh, uh, but the country's uh, 13th, 14th, and 15th amendments, uh, which allowed them to, you know, to really develop into their you know, potential. Mm -hmm. And so Murphy, as, as a jockey, is not only an example of this uh, idea of black masculinity, but he is also an example of what the black middle class was striving to achieve. And he did achieve that uh, middle classhood. He made equivalent to what we would almost consider, what, a million dollars? A million dollars, yes. Yeah. At the peak of his, his career, he was making close to a million dollars. Right. So his story informs us how about the professional black athlete. His story, it, 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 it ex explains uh, in some ways what the experiences were for African Americans in the post um, Civil War society, especially Reconstruction. And for professional athletes, it actually allows for us to see the, the ways in which um, African Americans were able to take advantage of opportunities, create opportunities mm -hmm. when they didn't exist, but also the reasons why they, would, they were run from the sports, whether it be horse racing, uh, baseball, mm -hmm. uh, and even football. Yeah. We'll talk more about it with Pelham McDaniels III coming up on Connections Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2 and Sunday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time on KET, the main channel. You can watch online anytime after that on KET.org slash connections. I hope you'll join us.